Hello everyone and welcome to your ninth Adobe After Effects tutorial Creating and Animating Objects Now this is a very exciting tutorial since we will be jumping into the animation part Let's start off by creating a new composition quickly Hit Ctrl plus N Name it Tutorial 9 It okay. Quickly, let's create a few objects to animate. So let's press Ctrl plus Y to create solids. Let's name it purple. Make comp size. Hit OK and make another one. Make it green. Make it nice and grainy and hit OK. Now, one more thing that I need to teach you here is that if you want to hide any layer, for example, you want to view the purple and you don't want to view the green without changing the order, if you don't want to view any layer, just press this eye, click it to shut the eye off, and then that layer will exist there but we cannot see it so let's quickly jump into the animation but before that let's make the object a little smaller so press s on your keyboard to bring up scale make it 20 percent all right and then let's animate this press p on your keyboard now in order to animate just make sure the current time indicator is at the start Select the layer and if you want to animate anything in After Effects, you have to apply keyframes to it. So in order to apply the keyframes, just click on the stopwatch right over here. Just click on the stopwatch and it will apply a keyframe at the position where your current time indicator is. Let's say we want this object to be on the lower left corner when we start the animation let's change the positions like so and let's say we want it to go to the upper right corner within two seconds so let's move the current time indicator to two seconds let's change the position to where we want the object to be and done as you can see, if you move your current time indicator, you will see that from your starting keyframe to the last keyframe, the program has automatically given a few frames of animation so that it can get from point A to point B. And if you want to preview this, we can just press zero of the numpad of our keyboards and we can preview the animation as you can see we have animated the object from point A to point B now we can apply different animations for example we can bring the current time indicator to zero again open up another property while viewing this property by pressing shift and pressing R to bring up the rotation. Now click the stopwatch on the rotation and go to 2 seconds and we will put 2 rotations. So let's play this and let's see how the animation ended up. And as you can see, our rectangle is rotating two times before reaching point P as we have set the animation to be. Animating objects is really easy in After Effects and very user friendly as you can see already over here. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.